Hello everyone, what's up? It's me, Micah, and welcome to my Japan haul. Oh my goodness, I miss this sit down filming kind of setup. It's been a while. I'm just so happy to be back. That's it. Anyways, I'm basically just gonna show you guys everything that I bought in Japan. So if you would like to know the stuff that I purchased, then just keep on watching. I want to show you guys the food that I got because, de ba, do naman si mga YouTubers sa pagkain. But unfortunately, it's been like two weeks or three weeks ever since I got home from Japan. And nakain na ng pamilya ko yung mga binili ko sa kanila mga pagkain. I do just want to show one that I have here. So here it is. I got a lot of Kit Kat. There, because it's different the flavor of Kit Kat. Don, this is green tea. This is actually very famous. I'll be giving this to my friend Laura. I bought it I think my raspberry pa. Tapos I also got some strawberry mochi for my family. Some. Kobe or Kyoto, I think Kobe pudding, and I also got them like this egg thing. Tapos meron pa ako mga biniling parang bread, maliliit na bread na Guinness, Guinness na Guinness. Ano ba? Parang ako ba ibo pronounce yun? Guinness. I think Guinness is right. Guinness world record holder. Anyway, those are the food that I got. So now we're gonna head on to the other stuff like makeup and some electronics and other Japan stuff. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot guys. Yung lippy of the day, I did promise you that I will tell you every time that I film what kind of lipstick I am wearing. And this is actually just a dream cream skin potions combination. So this is in the shade Dylan and Scarlet. Dylan is definitely more peachy and vibrant while Scarlet is a lot more toned down. So yeah, here they are. You guys can actually get this from Beauty Manila. I have a code for you guys. I am gonna flash it here on the screen and I'm also gonna link it in the description box below. Okay, so you and I'm gonna random Japan stuff that I got. So, wala na silang laman. <laughs> Grabe, this is a non existent Japan haul, but please do know that I did give thought to this. It's just that I had to give my pasalubongs already to the people that I was meeting and also to my family because they already wanted to use the stuff that I got for them. Anyway, since yung laman nito nasa brother ko lang naman, I'm gonna flash some videos of what they look like. Guys, itong isang nakuha ko na nasa loob na malaking ball, like pokeball looking like thing. I don't know what you call this but yeah there it is is a mini game boy by the like tetris and a bunch of other games it's so so cute super cool and i got it for only um i think 300 yen so that's roughly around 150 pesos or like 125 pesos ito naman ang laman nito is just a super cute gudetama keychain my brother has been asking for a gudetama thing from japan because he loves everything japanese he loves anime so yeah, I got him a bunch of stuff. I also got him manga, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit. I'm just gonna go get it in his room. So here they are, you guys. So ito yung pinabili specifically sa akin ni Matt when we went to Den Den Town sa Osaka. Meron kasi doon isang malaking, malaking building na puro manga lang. Tapos meron din silang mga albums of different J-pop stars. Actually, pwede nyo tong bilhin in English, but I could only get him the Japanese one because wala na daw mga English. I guess marami na pupunta doon na mga tourists and binibili nila, of course, yung English manga. So, I got this from Animate. Again, you can find that building in Denden Town. I remember he told me kung ano yung title nito. I just... I forgot. I forgot. Meron na siyang volume 1 kasi. And you know what? Again, my brother is so addicted to Japanese. Everything Japanese and anime. Na kaya niya to basahin. I'm so proud of him because he's learning Japanese on his own or Nihongo. We're actually planning to get a Nihongo class together. I'm gonna update you guys how that goes. Anyway, so this other one is a Weathering With You book. I, this is more of a book than a manga kasi wala naman siya nung... It's, it's not comics, basically. So it's just a regular book and this is how you flip it. Alam nyo na, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar that pag Japanese, they don't flip their books the regular way. It's not from right to left, it's from left to right. And ito, hindi niya pa tumabasa kasi sobrang advanced na nito. Wala lang, I just got this for him because he loves weathering with you. It's just a great souvenir and I only got this from 7-Eleven for 600 yen. That's again about 300 pesos. 
This one I think I got for 400 yen each. So this is just 200 pesos. Mas mahal pa to. So next naman is skincare. Super last minute ko tong bili na tong mga to. And this one is just like a random purchase. And then this one I have been using. I've been living off the sachet na free that I always get from the Philippines for like months now. So I decided to finally get the actual product. And this one naman is the Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner na alcohol free. I just love this. Super perfect for people with sensitive and oily skin. I don't even know why it feels relaxing to me. Alam mo, ang Kiehl's talaga, sobrang hands down, probably the best skincare I've ever tried. Susunod naman na papakita ko sa inyo are more of electronics or gadgets related. First up is this Belkin. Belkin. What is this? Lightning to USB cable. Sakto nasira kasi yung cable ko when we went to Japan. So it was about time that I got a new one. And Belkin pa to. So I'm sure na maganda talaga yung quality niya. By the way, I got this from Don Quixote. I think the next stuff that I'll be showing you guys, I got from Don Quixote. Honestly, it's true what they say. You go in Don Quixote, you can't come out with nothing. It's just how it is. Fortunately for me, I really need this. So yeah. Next naman is everybody's favorite. Kami ng boyfriend ko nakita namin to. And nakita ko rin sa Instagram stories ni Tony how their Japan Japan talaga. How their Japan photos turned out. So I got myself one as well. This is just a regular film camera. And you can take about 27 shots. Here in the Philippines, it's around 1,000 pesos or 900. We got it for only 600 or 500 pesos there at Don Quixote. I obviously have no not opened it, but that's only because I'm saving it for a special occasion. Last month for tech related items, I got a stylus. And this is what it looks like. Siguro, 300 pesos lang yung worth nito. Alam nyo, sobrang ganda nito. And then, it was so easy to use on my phone. And the reason why I got this is because I have this app that I use for editing that I can only use on my phone or a tablet. I don't have a tablet yet, but I can use it on my phone. So it was perfect because I can now write properly. So ngayon, makeup naman. Actually, Don Quixote ko lang din ako yung mga stuff na to. But you can also find these in regular Japanese drugstores. First up is the Heroin Make Mascara. I didn't know about the Heroin Make Mascara until one of my friends told me to buy it from her when I went there. So I thought that you know what? Sabi nila, hype daw to, so why not get one for myself? So this is it. This is what the Hair and Make Mascara looks like. This is around 500 pesos if you convert it. I am wearing it on my lower lashes right now and it's very difficult to remove. But thank God I have really good makeup removers that help take it off. If you're wondering kung paano ko siya nagagamit ng nasa loob pa siya ng packaging, because this one is for my friend. I haven't given it to her, but I got one for myself as well. Next up naman is something that I also got for my friend, which which is this Shrew 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 Emora Lash Curler. Actually, this was supposed to be for me, but then she was asking me to get her one. And by that time, I was already in the airport. I couldn't find one that was as cheap as this. So yeah, ayon. Marami talaga ng nagpapabili nito kapag nasa Japan, kasi nga mura siya don eh. Tapos dito sa atin, it's a little bit more expensive. And lastly, for makeup, I have this Kate the Zero Base Powder Foundation. It says powder foundation, but it's actually liquid. Ah, no pala, it says powdery skin maker foundation. So, I guess it's not gonna make your skin look all caked up and it's leaning towards the more powdery kind of finish. I did try this only here sa kamay ko. I have not tried it on my face yet. I'm pretty nervous because I really don't know what to expect. I have never tried this brand, but I do know that a lot of Japanese people like Kate as a brand, so I thought that, you know what, why not give it a try? I got this for 1,600 yen, which is around 800 pesos. So once I tried this one and it works perfectly for me, I'm gonna let you guys know about it because I do know that there's a Kate here in the Philippines, which you can find in drugstores and department stores. So susunod naman are the stuff that I got from Ikea. Of course, if you love mga anik-anik na pambahay like me, then you are not gonna come out of Ikea with nothing. 
So apart from this IKEA bayong na ginaya ni Balenciaga, I also got myself the limited edition Virgil Abloh in, collabor in collaboration. <laughs> What's wrong with my mouth today? Virgil Abloh in collaboration with IKEA na paper bag. Yes, it's just a thick paper bag and it says quote unquote sculpture. I gave it to my friend Kuya Paolo because he was the one who wanted it originally. I decided actually not to get it for myself. I said I got it for myself. No, I didn't get it for myself. I got it for my friend. Grabe no yung Japan haul na to. My Japan haul for my family and friends. It's more like that, no? Rather than for me. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so happy that I got to buy a lot of things for other people more than myself. And the other thing that I got from Ikea, the limited edition of Virgil Abloh in collaboration with Ikea, na pillowcases. You guys are probably gonna think, Michael, what are you doing with your money? I don't know. I feel like the value of this is just gonna go up throughout time, especially since it is limited edition. So I thought that why not just buy for myself? I decided on getting two dahil one is never enough. And I'm not gonna rest my head on this. This is more of gonna be like a yung mga panghag ko na pillow sa dalawang sides ko. I'm so happy because it fits all of my pillows. I was scared that it was gonna be like too small for them. So if you're wondering kung magana ko to nabili, I got it for 2,000 yen, which is a thousand pesos, or around 950 pesos. Okay, so ito na guys, ito na yung pinaka favorite ko among all the things that I got from Japan. So these two bags I just got from Don Quixote. Yes, you can actually buy branded bags from Don Quixote. So first up, I have this long show. The bag na yung pronunciation na long show. Hindi long champ. Pero for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna say long champ. Okay, guys, give me a break. Anyway, this long champ na long handle la pliage. I believe that's how you say it. But if not, please correct me in the comment section down below. I have been wanting a long champ na ganito yung shade, ganito yung color ng leather, tapos non long handle then Meaning, I can use it as a shoulder bag. Sobrang spacious niya. I just have some fillers right over there. And alam nyo guys, yung mga long champ doon, parang chinat Changge lang talaga siya sa Don Quixote. Quixote talaga. Don Quixote. Kasi sa atin, sir, stance nyo po mabibili yung mga long champ bags. Pero sa Don Quixote, as in, mga nakasabit lang siya doon. Tapos sa nakasulat lang yung price doon. Like, mga pucho-pucho bags. As in, parang that's how they treat long champ bags. Which I'm like, super surprised. Kasi in the Philippines, it's a very glorified brand for some reason. So, if you're wondering how much I got this for... I got it for 8,000 yen, which is about 4,000 pesos or mga, mga 3,500 around that price, which is so, so cheap. Because if you get this from Restance, you're going to get it for around 7,000 to 8,000. Pesos. Yeah, no regrets with buying this one. If anything, again, I wish I got more. And last but not the least, my most favorite purchase is this bag that I got from Stella McCartney. This is not the bag, guys. Don't worry. This is just a dust bag that they keep it in. Again, I got this from Don Quixote as well. So this is what it looks like. This is the Stella McCartney Falabella bag. And I got it in the gold chain. The classic ones come in silver, but I'm just a gold girl. You guys know it. My jewelry is all gold. So I decided my bag's hardware has to be gold as well. I have been in love with this bag for a really long time. And when I saw it dun sa Don Quixote, with the price tag that it had, I was like, it, I needed to get it. Pag nakakakita ko ng mga brand new nito here in the Philippines, it costs around 40,000 to 50,000 pesos. I got this for half the price. This only costs 22,000 pesos and it's brand new, you guys. So ito guys, this is what it looks like up close. It's not just for the crook of my arm. It also comes with a long chain, meaning it could be a crossbody or a shoulder bag. So yeah, these are my big purchases that I've been so, so in love with. So there it is 
anyways you guys that is it for my japan haul more than anything i am just so thankful to the oi family for letting me go with them or inviting me to go with them to japan we went to seven cities in 10 days which is absolutely tiring and crazy but so worth it sobrang saya ng experience na yon, and i feel like god has just blessed me so much with great company and also blessed me financially to be able to pay for the things that i was bringing home the things that i wanted and even for the entire trip itself god has been so so faithful actually nasa faith goal score for 2019 when i started out this year na mahapunta sa japan little did i know that i it would actually happen you know god just surprises me every single time and that's just how he works you know he doesn't just provide financially i don't want you to think that god is a genie and when you ask him for money or when you ask him for something he's immediately gonna give it to you no it's not just that but his blessings came in different forms like he gave me so much peace in booking that trip even though i didn't get a discounted rate for my ticket he also blessed me with so much guidance because you did see that it was my first time flying alone he also blessed me with confidence and skill to be able to perform the way that i do whenever i have hosting gigs and shootings i don't want you guys to think that he is faithful in a sense just because he provided the money it's not just that but it's just so many other things and i just want to urge you guys to believe also that god truly is faithful that whatever it is that you are going through in your life whether it be a financial struggle whether it be a struggle in your relationship or other personal issues god is with you god is with you a hundred percent of the way just seek him knock on his door and have an open heart for his answer set aside your worries set aside your fears just believe and trust that god has the best for you that you cannot even think of or you cannot even fathom so i know that this is super far now from the hall but i just felt like this was an overflow that i wanted to share to you guys so i hope that you enjoyed this video more than anything please do give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you are not part of the hashtag my loves yet so for today you watched me my glueys and i really cannot wait to see you guys again Bye, everyone.